our sailboat, for our family of four, we probably use, when we're being careful, about 40 to 50 litres of water per day. In this video, we're going to show you how we collect water, how we make water and how we test the ocean's water. As deep as the sea, no matter how rough things may come to be, you and me, we're family. This is how we know how much water we have. It goes from zero all the way to a thousand, but it doesn't go up there. Right now we have around 870 or 60. One of the daily tasks is to get to Watermaker on. So um, first I come down here and I've got the water pump on, then I turn it on here. He's down below and flushes the water maker through with the fresh water. So what we are doing is we're turning salt water into fresh water. So that's Woody just um, flushing the filters through before um, we actually start making the water. We use two pre-filters to remove as many of the impurities before the water reaches the actual water maker. So I'm just cleaning the, uh, the pre-filter, the 20 micron filter for the water maker. Um, it's been in there for about two weeks now. And when that goes green, then I turn the um, pressure up. So you only want it kind of around between 50 and 60 really. We've got two options, water can go into the tank or it can go into this hose. I turn that on like that in line with the pipe, it will go into the hose and then I can test it. It'll come out the end here. And I also test the water. And then um, water quality meter. So it's a TDS meter and it tests the parts per million. Okay, so it's still, it's just, wow, it's not so good because it's only just started. Second try. Oh yeah, that's more like it. So it's 200. So we can put that straight in the tank. Twitch that over. Um, it's been quite good. We've been running this before and it's never been such good quality and it's kind of around 200 parts per million which is pretty good for us usually. Sometimes we've been up to like nearly 500 but we still put it in the tank. I don't know whether it's different method that Willie's been using, whether it's the pre-filters but it's pretty good. We try to rinse all of our crockery in salt water before we wash it in fresh water. I live in the sky. We are always trying to find fun ways of saving water. So when we're brushing our teeth, we need to put our teeth brush under the thing, burst it a little bit, brush our teeth, and then rinse it, and then we use our hand, put it back. Also, when we're doing our showers, we need to conserve our water. We have to have a short shower. With our toilet, when we flush it, it's not fresh water, it's salt water from the ocean. Sometimes we get fish in it. I have seen a fish inside the toilet once. Sometimes, instead of making water, we collect water. So if there's a lot of rain and not too much wind, we'll get our water catcher out, which is basically a large plastic sheet, which we tie up between the shrouds. So we've got a stowaway on board or a ghost because yesterday somebody left a tapper ring in one of the heads and emptied 200 litres of fresh water out and none of the crew did it um, so that only leaves um, a third or a sixth person on board who did it. So we're still investigating the crime however we've lost 20% of our overall water capacity which is a very bad thing but uh, Luckily we've had a, uh, a good squall of rain today so we've collected uh, a lot of rainwater and uh, got to make the rest up with the water maker. But the answer's inside us, it never did leave, we just never believed it before. Well I'm done with the maze for the rest of my days. 
wasting my dreams anymore. No, I'm not waiting. So we need to look after water so we don't die on passage. And because we will, because we need to, we can't just get water from nowhere. And the water maker sometimes doesn't work. And so we need to conserve it. I've been, um, we've been collecting these water samples to analyze the water to see whether, you know, how many plastic particles are in the water, um, how much zooplankton and how much phytoplankton and anything else. Um, and so we got this from GOES uh, Science Project. It's a citizen science project. So twice a day, I've been putting in a filter inside and um, I go to the back of the boat and take a sample. And then I'll tell you what I do next. There's a sad fact that since the 1950s, 40% of all the plankton from the oceans have just disappeared. Scientists believe this is due to warming sea levels. So you might be thinking, plankton, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that it produces 70% of all the oxygen in the world. So this citizen science project is really important to understand how we can regain this plankton and basically just learn more about um, everything that's in the ocean. And the best place to do it was from the stern of the boat because trying to get it in there and collect water is really difficult. But here, I can clip on here, sit down here. And, um, Another thing that affects the amount of plankton in the ocean is chemicals like microplastics and other harmful things. All of the microplastics that we're dumping into the ocean has become a docking almost for all the toxins that are in the ocean that we've also put there. All these toxins uh, are eaten by the fish in the ocean and then we eat the fish. Studies show that pretty much every single person in the world has plastic and like toxins inside their um, body due to human causes. It's obviously bad for you. It's, that's uh, another reason to stop it, not just to, um, to save your planet, it's because it is generally affecting us now. The water is left to drain for an hour or so through the filters. Right, so once the water's all drained through, then um, you take out the two plates with the filter paper in between and then you photograph with a microscope what you have. So the surface of the moon has been more explored than the bottom of the ocean. If people study that, they'll discover things that um, nobody's ever seen before. All the photos are kind of put into the, onto a spreadsheet. If we carry on studying it, we might discover things that are completely unique to anywhere else on the planet and I think that's a cool thing. So I hope this video gives you a little bit of insight into what water means to us, how we make it, we collect it, how we help to examine it and kind of what we think about it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we would like to say a massive thank you to our patrons for supporting these videos and this epic journey. Things may come to be you and me, we're family. Sing home. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel dedicated to fixing your boat called Mothership Maintenance.